Hello and welcome to How to Speak Danish with the Missing End. In this lesson, we'll have a brief look at how to pronounce the different consonants in the Danish alphabet. So, let's get started. The good news is most consonants are fairly straightforward in the sense that they're pronounced more or less like in English. In no particular order, here's what you need to be aware of. H. If an H is followed by another consonant, it's silent. Otherwise, it will be pretty much impossible to pronounce. Think about it. Example, vale, which means whale. Next up is F and V. Most of the time these are pronounced just as you'd expect, but sometimes they take a W sound instead. Two important examples are adhere, which means to have, and most words starting with AF, like augang, which means departure. Next up is J. This is pronounced like the English Y. As an example, Yule means Christmas. Next up is G. This is typically pronounced like a hard G, like in the English word game, or the Danish word edgrau, which means to dig. However, it's worth knowing that sometimes it's pronounced just like the Danish J. The most common example is jeg, which means I. Next is S. The Danish S is always pronounced like the English double S. It's S, always, even when it's between two vowels. As an example, et lyse, which means to solve. Next is R. Whenever the R is pronounced, it's usually a deep guttural sound, like in brød, which means bread. However, Danish shares a peculiarity with British English in that the R isn't always pronounced. Consider, for example, arm, which means arm, and dør, which means door. In neither example is the R pronounced, but note that in the last example, the R has an effect on how the word is pronounced, even though the letter itself can't be heard. Finally, C, Q, W, X, and Z. These basically don't occur in the Danish language, except in foreign words. Again, Z is pronounced like a double S. Always. So that's all the consonants you need to... Oh no, hang on, I forgot one. Welcome to your worst nightmare. The Danish song. Half of the time the Danish D is just like the English one, but the other half of the time it sounds like you're about to throw up. The soft D deserves an entire video for itself, so I'm not even going to attempt to explain it now, but here are some examples though. Mel, hiller, ud, snevide, blad, blød, blod. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.